one one's been here. So the morning after Brawler Bash, this is a Monday morning before I, I took uh, Malorian back to the airport to fly home, he and I decided to play one last game. He had I had heard before about his um, High Elf Monster Mash list that he said was just not totally undefeated, but pretty much undefeated, that everybody struggled with it. And uh, I wanted to see what it was like. It's actually, it's the kind of list I think it might be fun to play as as long as you could do so in a way that your opponent had fun. Um, but I'm, I'm a bit intrigued by it. So we cobbled together a bunch of models to proxy so he could play uh, his his high elf list. And I it was 2,500 points, and so I just grabbed the uh, Coastal Carnage list that I used, 2,500 points. It's basically a light council. So starting on the far right, um, that Jabberslythe custom-built model I have is a Dragon Mage. Then he's got an Eagle. Then he has two units of Fast Cav, and these uh, have just Spears, I believe. That giant model is a Frost Phoenix. So uh, the models that are, that are real big, if they have wings, they're a Dragon. If they're not, they're a Frost Phoenix, or a Frost Heart Phoenix. Uh, there has, behind the trees, you can't really see it. It's a green dragon. That's his Archmage on a dragon. Uh, sport level four high magic. Uh, then there's a griffin model. That's a noble on a griffin. Then let's see two more fast cav. These have I think bows and spears. Uh, behind them is that that uh, gorgon model, and that is another frostheart phoenix. Three units of archers and an eagle. So basically, to fill out his core, he took three units of reavers and three units of archers. Uh, I know the archers have banners. I don't know if the reavers do or not. And then everything else is some sort of monster. And uh, yeah, yeah, very intriguing list. I I castled in a corner as far back as I could. I've got my cannon, got um, halberdiers right in front of them. Master Engineer is is standing in with a unit of archers. Um, and they've got my light council. There's two level ones and a level four. So I have a scroll and I don't I don't know. If I have anything else, I didn't didn't use it. Um, Let's see, there's my uh, Arch Lector on a War Altar. He's got the Charm Shield and a 4 plus Ward and the Speculum. Hellblaster Volley Gun, another unit of Halberdiers, Hurricane behind him. Captus is up front. He's got a 1 up Armor Save, um, 2 plus Ward against Flaming and the Sword of Might. There's a Steam Tank, and then the flank is being guarded by these Demigriffs. So the Elves win the roll to go first. And, I'm sorry, the Elves, the Empire wins the roll to go first and for the most part I didn't move much I just kind of stayed back in my corner uh, I did I did push the steam tank forward a little bit um, so what I'm trying to do with the steam tank is get it to where it's an it's awkward for him to put his monsters where they can get close enough to charge my unit because if you put them there my steam tanks can be able to charge you the problem of course is he has fast cav that can redirect it that's the far right yeah, so I remember my shooting basically did no, no, nothing. I mean, I would shoot at things and the bounce, it would just miss or the bounce wouldn't hit at all. Or I would roll a one to wound or something like that. But I want to say turn one on my cannon shooting against monsters, nothing happened. Wait, let's go back up one. Yeah, I'm sorry. The Empire, the the steam tank uh, misfired and took a wound. Uh, the Hellblaster volley gun opened up on the unit of fast cav or either them or it might have been banishment. Uh, fast Cav took it in the face. They lost three models, panicked, and ran away. So you notice Malorian does not have a battle standard bear in this list. So he's got good leadership, but when tests have to be taken, you never know what might happen. High Elf turn one, it looks like this. Uh, he's kind of overwhelming my right flank. So he's so if you look uh, right to left, he's got, uh, again, that's a Dragon Mage, then an Eagle, then his level four Mage on a Moon Dragon, and then the two monsters are the two Frostheart Phoenix. He's got... Um, unit of fast cav the one that fled is all the way back here uh, in front of um, captasis really in front of the steam tank he's got another unit blocking my demigriffs and another unit on the right in reserve to tie me up next time here on the left his noble on a griffin is hiding behind the building his other eagles up front and well it looks like there's fast cav way back there so i think the other unit of fast cav um, must have got depleted by shooting but they're still yeah anyway eagles up here now yeah, it looks like that. Uh, during the shooting, I usually think my Hellblaster is protected, but he has uh, 30 archers, and they just, you know, they're hitting on like fours, right? I mean, they start three, they're long range, and other than that, there's no modifiers. So hitting on fours, so 30 shots means he should have um, 
15 hits. And then wounding on sixes, it means he should get two and a half wounds. And he rolled just barely above average and got three wounds and killed the Hellblaster. So that's kind of a bummer because I was hoping the Hellblaster would kill that eagle. And then I was thinking, I just have my Arch Lector charge the eagle. And then I'm thinking that may not be a good idea. Banishment would be nice. Yeah. Empire turn two. Demi's on the right, charge the fast calf, just get rid of him. Capsis charges the fast calf. Steam tank just sits still, it's gonna shoot a cannon. Um Yeah, everything else looks like you can see. There's this. Uh the problem with you know, it's I hate wasting banishments uh on on an eagle, but if I don't, that eagle is going to cause me problems, but I can't get any spells off. He uses dice for one and a scroll for the other, and magic is a bust. I go to shooting, and um, my shooting misses. My steam tank has taken another wound, misfired again, and my cannon just missed. So that was an epic fail. So High Elf turn two. Uh, originally, I thought he was going to overwhelm my right side, but I think he was far enough away that he was worried that he might only make it with one, and so he just parked all his guys right in front of my lines. He has this eagle redirecting my steam tank, so I can't come barreling into him. And otherwise, he is where you can see him. Um, and with the exception of his noble on a griffin, who has charged the arch lector. But actually, I'm okay with that, because I have the speculum, and we're probably just going to sit there in a pillow fight the rest of the game. And I think Meloria may have been um, okay with that as well, because he mainly wanted to stop that thing from casting you know, six dice banishment. So, and the eagle flies right over my lines, but I just couldn't kill that. I just, I tried to kill it with magic and he stopped it, and then I tried shooting at it, and I couldn't do anything, and the cannon's going to die. But more importantly, his eagle's going to be in my backfield, and that's the real vulnerability of a light council. So there's that. So, you know, I'm looking at this thinking that I just don't have a chance. <laughs> but the only, the only possible chance I have is to go ahead and charge him and hope that, I mean, with a charge a banner and three ranks. I'm starting with five. Um, so these monsters don't have so many attacks that they're going to win with just their attacks. He's going to be relying on his thunder stomp, and you just never know what might happen. He might roll a one or a two, fail to wound or something like that. There's no re-roll around, so you know he, he'll be testing. If if I can get lucky and win, he'll be testing on like a seven-ish, and if that's the case, then you never know what can happen. It's the only thing I can possibly think of that's going to turn the tide here. Otherwise, if he can charge where he wants to charge, he'll just overwhelm a Haberdier unit. I won't even be steadfast by the end. He'll turn, overwhelm the other, and that's all she wrote. Over on this side, the Dragon Mage comes up to cast spells. After combat, the the, the spells I, I was able to stop just or just didn't do much. The Eagle breaks the, the, the cannon and just reforms to face down my Light Council. And after combat here, I think it's just a push. Like, we didn't wound. Neither one of us did any wounds. So, Empire turn three. Um, yeah, so it looks like you can see it. Basically, I turned the steam tank around to shoot at his dragon mage. I um, I charged the captuses at something. I think his fast cavy fled and didn't go any distance, and I caught him and then just turned around and reformed. Uh, the eagle was blocking the steam tank. I would have taken the steam tank into his 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 general, but I just I was blocked by the eagle. That's why the eagle's there, right? So I charge my halberdiers into one eagle. I charge the other halberdiers into a frostheart phoenix. Um, I should let's see if I either if I kill or break the eagle. If I break the eagle from combat and I do a like a virtual pivot, I'm gonna be going the total wrong way. I need to kill the eagle so that I can overrun and hit the flank of his general. And that's just the best chance I have. Same thing with the halberdiers on the left. Um, I, I charge him. Uh, I'm hoping I can just get lucky and win. Because if, if I just if he holds at all, his other frost art comes in and that's it. So certainly an act of desperation. There's that. The brave halberdiers going in. Really unsupported. I really I wasn't able to get any magic off. And the hurricanum's nowhere nearby. And over here the hurricanum's there. So that's nice. And, yeah, I think Cannon was not able to um, to shoot. I, I Basically, I think I missed his Dragon his dragon Mage. And after combat, I want you to look at the board. <laughs> not once did he say, are you freaking kidding me? He just laughed and, and went on his way. But holy cow. Um, yeah, so the Halberdiers 
kill the eagle. Immediately, his, his general takes a leadership test. I think she's on a nine. And she fails it and runs away center to center from the nearest unit, which is my rightmost halberdiers, and lands behind the leftmost Frostheart Phoenix. Um, okay, so, uh, so then I overrun. And then on the other side of the table, uh, I, I beat a Frostheart Phoenix, and he runs, and we catch him, and we land on top of his general, and kill him. Let me think. Hold on a second. I'm going to take that back. Take it, most of it back. I killed, killed the eagle, and his general flees, lands behind the Frostheart Phoenix. But he ran. He flew through a Frostheart Phoenix in the middle, which fled away from the other nearest unit. But that nearest unit was my leftmost halberdier, so it landed to the right. So that way, when I, when I overran, from the eagle, I landed on the Frostheart Phoenix that was fleeing. Then the other unit, the, what I predict, what I said I needed happened. His, his Frostheart Phoenix rolled a single thunderstomp. He just only did a couple wounds. I won by a couple. He broke. I ran him down and landed on top of his general, and everything's dead. <laughs> I, I, I can. I mean, both of us are just wide-eyed. Like, what just happened? The problem is there's no battle standard bearer, and if his noble on a griffin had a 25-point standard bearer instead of his his total kit out, um. That this would be a totally different story, but yeah, there you have it. I put my light council. I I hit my level four to the right of the uh, archmage, so nobody can see it except the dragon mage, and he's got a large charge. Uh, the detachment and the two other level ones I put in a row facing the eagle. So if he charges, at least it's against my BSB and my master engineer who have a chance of killing him. High elf turn four. His dragon mage tries to charge my level four and fails, so he's right there. Otherwise, it looks like that. I mean, he's does not really a whole lot to do at this point. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry. The, his uh, Dragon Mage charged my Hurricanum. I fled. Then he redirected to my level 4 and failed the charge. Eagle comes into this. This is my BSB. My BSB has a 2 up, 3 attack, strength 4, and my Master Engineer probably is easily killed. Uh, but he only has 1 attack. And it doesn't matter. My BSB kills the Eagle. And otherwise, everything's looked like that. I'm going to go real fast now because, as you can tell, it's just mop-up. Uh, over here, Captasus charges the flank of the Dragon Mage. Um, because I just think even with this this dragon, it's going to be hard to get past my 1-up. Uh, he's got a Breath Weapon, but I've got 2-plus Ward against Flaming. Steam Tank crashes into the Fast Calf, because why not? Uh, after combat, the uh, he, he does one wound to me. I won, I won by at least a flank and a charge, even if I didn't do any wounds. I think I might have killed his Dragon Mage, though. Um, either way, I won combat. He broke and ran off the board. The fast cab died to the steam tank. It'll run off the board. Uh, over here, we've taken. I'm allocating attacks on his griffin. He's allocating attacks on my arch lector. We've taken one wound each. High elf turn five. And by the way, I have a halberdier unit in the building. That's why you don't see him. And the other halberdier unit turned around to face the rear of his griffin. He moves up to shoot at my stuff. Uh, his fast cab move up to redirect my demigrifts before they get all up in his business with his archers. Uh, over here, we're just still in this big pillow fight. Turn six, the arch the halberdiers charge the rear of the griffin. Uh, he's still in a challenge, but I went through a bunch of static combat res, and he dies. And we can just call the game right there because let's see what turn is it, it is Empire six. So yeah, uh, Empire had another turn, but there was nothing really significant going to happen. So. What a wonky game. I think his list beats my list eight games out of ten. I, uh, you know, the problem with the Light Council is, and I was telling him this, is sometimes it's hard to get, uh, on turn one, I have to have my Arch Lector up pretty far so he's even in range to cast a banishment. And as long as there's nobody directly in front of him, there's one banishment that can't be cast turn one. He likely can use his dice to stop the other, other banishment. So that means on turn two, I have a ban two banishments, but my, my opponent will have dice and a scroll. So a lot of times, even on turn two, I don't get a banishment off. And by turn three, his guy should be in combat. So um, the Light Council, I don't think does a whole lot of good against this list. I just got really lucky. Uh, I th Again, I mean, I th I'm a real big fan of rerolls. I think if he had a BSB in this list, he crushes me. and There's nothing I could do about it. So, yeah, that was interesting. I, I played five tournament games and two games against Melorian, and one game against a fan of the channel. 
And so out of the eight games, I was seven wins and one loss. So it was a, it was a, uh, a good weekend of Warhammer. Anyway, that was it. Lorian went home. We had a great time together. Hope you enjoyed the report. Hey everyone, once bitten here. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. As you know, YouTube has several functions you can use to interact with videos such as this. Uh, you can like the video, you can leave a comment, you can favorite the video. Uh, I want you to know that, that I appreciate it when you do things like that. It feels much more interactive than simply me talking to a screen. So if you're willing to do so, please like, comment, and favorite the videos. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want, and you certainly are welcome to share this video on your blog or other websites if you are so inclined. Again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.